Welcome to number 58 in our fundamental supersized business strategy. Sorry, I swallowed my coffee, Ron. Today we are talking about one of my favorite strategies and one that I think, <coughs> excuse my throat. <coughs> it's still one of my favorite strategies. So one of my favorite strategies and one that I think the vast majority of business owners wait too long to start using and implementing into their business, especially when they're growing and building and supersizing. That is the automation strategy. I have a firm belief that as soon as you create a process, document that process. Remember I started out, that was number one fundamental strategy is make sure that you are documenting and keeping track of what you're actually doing in your business in every different area in every different business. In the beginning, if you're starting a business on your own from scratch, you'll start, I say start from day one, documenting, keeping notes, at least keeping a journal so that you can document your processes as you test them, tweak them, verify that they're ready to be automated. And you wanna start automating things as quickly as you possibly can. There are software tools, there are uh, phone apps nowadays to automate certain parts of your business. Uh, as early as some people start their businesses now with automations in place before they actually click the button and go live with respect to digital technology. Uh, <clears throat> one of the reasons I like automation is it because it frees us up. Time is arguably, and I don't think you can really argue with it because it, it's pretty universally believed now that time is our most valuable resource. It says a resource, time is as a whole. And Although we each get the same 24 hours in a day, what we do with that time and how we utilize that time is entirely up to us. We get to choose what we're gonna spend our time and energy on. And I say anything that's repetitive, that has to be done over and over again in any way, shape or form, I'm gonna automate that. If I could automate certain tasks in my life, like I guess, hygiene comes to mind, doing my makeup, doing my hair. I would love to find somebody that could do those things for me. But there are things in our life and in our businesses that we have to do ourselves. Pretty much have to brush your own teeth. You gotta take your own uh, shower and hygiene practices. And, and that's part of foundationally taking care of ourselves because if we don't take care of ourselves, how are we going to build and grow and supersize our business? But anything that takes time on a repetitive basis that I can automate, I go ahead and automate. It's why we have automatic dishwashers. It's why we have automatic washers and dryers. It's why, or we send our laundry out. It's why we hire people to help us with the routine things that need to be done in order to make our life work. I have not mowed the lawn in, I don't know, since I was in, I'm not gonna say, how, but we know how old I am, for at least 30 years, maybe, once or twice I hopped on the riding mower for a reason I don't remember or recall. But it's sort of therapeutic, driving around in circles and thinking about things that you want to think about. Uh, so mo automate what you can and don't be afraid to automate things like I'm talking about in your personal life so it frees up more of your time and energy to focus on building and growing and supersizing your business. Uh, streamline processes and optimize them before you automate them. You can automate them when they're not perfect yet because they're never gonna be perfect. We live in a continuously changing, ever improving culture, hopefully in your organization, as in mine, where we're always reviewing our processes, improving them, automating them, and tweaking them to make sure that they're working as things around us change. Uh, it reduces costs. I dare anyone to show me how it costs more to automate a process than the value of your time or keep people's time in your organization. It allows us to use our resources and spend them wisely, and especially, as I said, time. You're not gonna get the 24 hours from today back. You, you only get it once. We only get to go through the same 24 hours one time. We don't get to relive the same day. We're not living in Groundhog Day, the movie. We are here for a finite amount of time. We don't know what that amount of time is, but we know that it's finite. And I think that's what keeps us driven and moving forward, especially when it comes to applying different strategies for our business. Again, I have a question for you. How long were you in business before you started to automate some of the things that you do, that you got help 
with doing the things that needed to be done in order to grow and build your business. Share in the comments below because I'm really curious. Like I said, a lot of times I come into an organization and they have, number one, not documented their processes and systems. They don't even necessarily have a flow chart of how things go through their organization. And that's easy because it's a, a key place and an easy place to start because the people and the knowledge and the wisdom is all there. It's just a matter of documenting it. And I just found a new tool to do that, which I'm pretty excited to check out uh, because it, otherwise it is a time-consuming, challenging, daunting process, depending on how far you are in growing and building and supersizing your business. I've also found that we make things a lot more complicated than they have to be. And if we simplify them, sometimes a simple process flow diagram is all we need to document our process. Other times we need detailed instructions, step-by-step, -step, decision trees, etc. So it just depends on the nature of your business, the nature of your industry, the nature of the business that you are wanting to grow and build and supersize. So that's it, automation, one of my favorites because I think it goes hand in hand with documentation and continuous improvement, which are two more of my favorites. All right, any questions asked, you can ask on this video if you see me on Facebook, or you can comment directly on this video if you see me on Facebook. Otherwise, you gotta find me, Google, Google me, you will find me. I'm not hiding, I'm in plain sight. Have an awesome day, and I'll of course be with you tomorrow.